today, as Sean said, it's my job to try and pull all this together. Now, some of what we're going to talk about is going to be a little bit of theory, some of going to be practical examples, lots of case studies. I think I've been in much more case studies for us to talk about, anything from customer service to sales acquisition to complaint handling and range. Um, but um, the critical thing that's going to happen today is after I've gone through the nuts and bolts, we're going to break into groups and you're actually going to prepare your own social media campaigns at work. So you'll actually believe today with an understanding of now I sort of the edge. Um, so I hope you'll find that valuable as a tool. My presentation today is, is not a presentation that I did over and over and over again. It's a presentation that I've tailored for you. So I've pulled in a mismatch of, of subjects that I think are relevant based on the speaking that you've had over the last eight days or seven days. So a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Kat Malaka, as you heard. I have nearly 20 years marketing experience. Um, I won Portfolio's Independent Woman of the Year Award when I was 23. I've run major super events before they were even heard of in Australia. I've worked across a plethora of campaigns. Um, as Sean mentioned, one of them was for the Medical Benefits Fund of Australia, which was the Bathsheba Breast Campaign, which won the UN Award for Communicating Priority Issues. You might wonder what that was about. It was the precursor to the National Breast Screening Campaign that was initiated by the federal government. It was actually an ambush campaign that called for action and government stepped up to the up to the table. Other campaigns that I've worked on, and I might add, I kind of like ambush marketing. I like coming from nowhere and going into a big space. I like it when people tell me it can't be done. I like finding the what's different exercise, and that's one of the great things about social media. It allows you to play very fairly, but it allows you as a small business to really swim. Um, some years ago, I worked with Victoria Coffee. Who was in the coffee bank around here? You're not a coffee bank. Okay. You are. Okay. Um, some years ago, they were, they were an Australian owned company, they were huge. They had a market competitor in the Lavazza and small boutique competitors, and they needed to claim the territory. Starbucks was coming to Australia. And what we did is we, we founded the Arabica Robusta icon in terms of the coffee beans. We're the only country in the world where we're more concerned about the beans you drink. It actually stops Starbucks from having a major presence, and it's why we're such an um, Italian-style um, coffee culture uh, country in Australia. It's helped dominate supermarkets as well. So that's a little bit about me. Um, now, about five years ago, having run a lot of agencies and sold a lot of agencies and worked for multinationals, I started to reskill. I could see my profession changing. I also didn't want to work until 10 o'clock every night. I wanted to go home and have a life. So I started to explore the world of social media. Um, at the time, there weren't a lot of teachers around, so some of them I was self-skilled and self-taught. Uh, but what I find is what you're learning today, it will become intuitive to you. There are things that you don't know, you will be able to find. And that's one of the blessings of, of social media. I'm sharing with Sean and some of the other fellows at lunch, and I learned things that I don't know. There's no way in the world social media experts know it's an emerging technology. However, it has been said it is the greatest sociological change since the inventing of the printing press. And the printing press was invented for the production of the Bible. So it's just phenomenal. And if you think about it again, well, it doesn't matter on your own, your own personal views, but news limited at the moment is struggling to find a way to compete into this new social space. And that's why they're so excited by the iPad. The first time they won't necessarily need to be giving away content. So start to think of your organization, um, even if you're a one-man band, how you can actually innovate and use this technology for your own benefit. So I'm just going to run through um, how I work. Um, there's a couple of slides, and that's the sales pitch, everybody. I, um, I coach, I mentor small businesses one-on-one, -on -one. we do a series of packages, I train, I speak, and I write. And I, and I have a digital agency that we run a very large campaign. All my people who are are virtual, and they work all around the world. And that enables me to keep the cost down when we're actually working for time. So a small business client can typically expect a social media campaign being able to be implemented for around $1,000, which is, which is affordable. Um, I talk a lot, and we'll talk about that when we get into promotions about sustainability and innovation. And I want everyone to suddenly start to think of where they are today and where the world could be tomorrow. 
we're frightening, but we need to embrace where we're going with technology. And everyone has to embrace the fact that we are in an innovative economy. A little later on, I start to talk about a few innovations which will start you to think, well, my goodness, you know, maybe my business mightn't exist if I don't do X, Y, and Z. A good example is the Encyclopedia Britannica. Do you remember when Microsoft sort of brought it out as part of the, um, the companion and the bottom programs? And guess what came along, everyone? Wikipedia. They no longer use it. It was innovated into obliteration. So don't think just because you're operating in a little niche that you can't be impacted by the world of social media. On my website, I have a free download of, uh, which I regularly upload, of social media innovations and technology innovations and future trends. It's a great discussion uh, uh, point for staff. I do brown paper bag days where we actually sit down and share technology and share where the world's going. People start to think about how that can be relevant to them. Um, all right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the way of life, which I've sort of touched on. We're going to chat a bit about what is viral. And I noticed um, Sean was encouraging us to have a viral campaign with a badge that we were all going to dutifully put on our website. Um, we're going to talk a bit about social media influence <coughs> and what that means, few top future trends and digital trends, and then we're going to do a, a workshop together. Now, just to recap, and some of this is basic stuff, so you can have a man in that, but I just want to put you in, into that space. Viral has been around for a long time, but the power of going viral now is phenomenal. If you go back to when Princess Diana died, who doesn't remember where they were and how they heard? Many didn't hear it on the news, many heard it and word of mouth. Similarly with Gandhi, um, going back village to village to village to village. Am I anyway? Uh, a little bit. Yes, okay. Uh, Martin Luther King, the same. So, you know, the, the, the uh, civil rights movement. And of course, Clinton, do you remember when he was very naughty with uh, Monica Lewinsky? What did we all do? We all went and downloaded to hear what was happening and crashed the White House website. Viral again. The other thing that, that is relevant to all of this is six degrees of separation. Um, I'm actually going to write a blog, it'll be on my website in a couple of days. Six degrees of separation does not mean six people to know, to know you. It means networking in with your power influences who will influence everyone around you. And there are people that we all connect with who just go out and tell everyone about you. They're the ones that in social media land are really powerful and important to you. Um, now, why is this even more relevant now? A lot of us have come along and say, I've got to get into this space. We are moving into an economy where 5 billion consumers will be mobilely connected by some form of smartphone or device. 5 billion people. Which means when we market, we may not necessarily be, be operating in our own little pool. We might have an opportunity to go bigger. We might have a different way to do this. So think about that. Who here uses a smartphone and who here uses an iPhone? Yeah. Who here uses a Blackberry? Who here uses a new Galaxy? Who here has a phone that's older than two years? Okay. One of the things in tips, I would encourage you to try and keep your phone technology up with uh, with any telecom, but start to get your head around what's actually taking place. So I've, I've always been a Blackberry user. I love the Blackberry that I've decided that I need to try new technology. So now I'm slowly getting around all, all the Apple and the iPads. So, so don't necessarily lock yourself into one way of life. Okay, now in terms of the internet, um, I just want to point out, you know, lots of people hear these get rich things. You know, you, you can sign up to this and you can do this and you'll be a multi-millionaire. There's no such thing. It's hard work. It's about strategy and strategically messaging to the right community. So to recap, and I'm sure you've done this every single time with, with everyone that's spoken to you, I just want to talk about social media. Social media is simply building a shared meaning and technology has been facilitated for us. It's about the human interface. It's a way of life. It's not something that other people do to you. You know, a lot of people come and say, well, I have to do their campaign. I can't do that to you. You know your business. It's about many different platforms. Have you talked a little bit about Web 1, Web 2, and Web 3? Yes, no? Okay. Who's heard the word, word Web 2? Okay. It's a marketing term, okay? That's where it came from. And basically, this is the whole subject in itself. 
Web 1 was very much when the internet was first introduced. And it was that that website. We remember we had a website and all of a sudden we had email and we did this one-to-one. Web 2 is when we suddenly started making a noise. Social media is in this space. We're user generated, but we're in between Web 2 and Web 3. Everyone's still talking Web 2, but we are literally in that space. Um, so be aware there are about to be some phenomenal changes, they say, between 2010 and 2015, and I can already see them. That's all it is. Who here can't change content on their own website? Okay. Who here doesn't have a website? Okay. Lots of tips, I'm sure, you've been shared. You can get a WordPress site that's you know, they're free, or you can get a template and a designer involved, you can have a blog. There are ways with this Web2 technology that you can do something for very little cost. And that has been where small business has excelled and are doing very well. Again, if you go on to my website, I have a, a blog which is called The Lounge, which is just a whole series of case studies, tips and information that you're welcome just to go and check out, go forward, um, download, share with other people, that's fine. And I update that regularly. Okay. Website, yeah. I beg your pardon? Website. Yeah. Kathymalopo.net.au. Now, brands to survive. Remember, we, we used to all live in a market. We had our brochures. We had our business cards. We had our, what else did we do? We went to our trade shows. We did these linear communications. Social media <coughs> is about us allowing our customers to become our evangelists. It's about collaborating. It's about pulling marketing, getting them to go out and tell other people about us. But more importantly, it's not about printing a brochure and then it's thrown in a bin and we have to go and print other brochures. It has what's called a long tail, which means you can disseminate a piece of information and it goes on and on and on and on. And the power of that, that's good communication, that will build business for your brand or drive people back to your website. But in using the long tail, it's really important that you try and put a link back to where you want them to drive. Because there's no point to leave them about you unless you're driving traffic in some, some meaningful way. Now, if a hint, Ford Motor Company, who's on Twitter now? Okay, there's a fellow called at Scott Monty, S-C-O-T-M-O-N-T-Y, who is Ford uh, Motor Company social media guru. He is regarded as best in class around the globe. Um, and I suggest you follow him and watch what he's done in terms of the long tail. Very clever. He has his own blog which he has a personality profile as well as screens for Ford Company. We discussed with other presenters what are some of the social media tools, so I'm not going to go into a lot of those details today, but there are a whole host. I know when I talk particularly to CEOs of large organisations, and I say, if you've heard of check and writing and do, if you've heard about blogging, their eyes just glaze over. Fundamentally, don't get lost in the technology. It's about the <coughs> It's about a way of life. Okay. Why is it important? Well, you can generate sales, you can monitor your brand, you can monitor other people's brands. Really critical to map out who your competitors are and watch what they're doing. And I don't mean watching one day. I mean regularly watch what they're up, up to. I set up Google Alerts for every single one of my clients so I know exactly what they're up to at any time of the day. And there are other monitoring tools which, which are available and free. It helps you to track return on investment. And I say to anyone that uses social media without a measurement tool, you're crazy. Why spend time unless you can work out where it's going? Social media offers some phenomenal return on investment um, so monitoring tools. Okay, now you can take some notes of this slide as the very last slide. What we're going to do today, and this is why the rest of the presentation, I want you to pick up points that are relevant to your business. You're going to create an account. 